Hello and welcome back to my channel. Well, it's a lovely, glorious autumn Sunday afternoon here in Burnley, Lancashire. And I thought, what better time than today to do a video about changing the spark plug on the AJS Modino 125. I've bought a brand new spark plug. It's an NGK, um, because I'm assured that they're probably the best ones to use for the Moderna or for any motorcycle or scooter for that matter. So I think the, spl the plug gap is between 0.6 to 0.7 millimetres. Uh, the plug should be reasonably well set when I get it out of the box, but I'm going to check it anyway. And I'm going to get set to now and show you how I'm going to do it. So here we are, we've got our NGK plug. Uh, I'm hoping it's the right one. Uh, that's the uh, number I was told I needed. And I'm going to check the gap on it now just to make sure that it looks about right. So I've got my feel gauge set here to 0.6 millimetre. So let's give it a quick check. Yeah, it's a nice tight sliding fit, so that should be fine. Now the first thing we need to do is take this cover here off and this cover here off. And to do that, we use a Phillips screwdriver. I want to use a drill to make it a little bit quicker. first cover off. You might want to take the screws out then you don't lose them. And then we'll go for this one. Slightly bigger screw on this one. So you can't really mix them up. Little thing there to pull it out with. Okay, we're there now. I'm going to put that back on just so it covers the battery in case of any shorts. Now the plug lead, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to move you around a bit. The plug lead is here. In fact I'll get a light. Now I don't know if you can see it, so I'll bring you around here. There's the plug lead there, the round headed thing there. So I'm going to pull that off and that'll expose the spark plug. So bear with me, I'm going to change location. I'm going to move to the other side of the scooter with the uh, with the camera and film it from that side. So we're back again and hopefully you can see where I'm working. I'm going to turn the light back on, give it some light. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pull the plug lead off. Okay. That's the plug lead off. We didn't want that to happen, did we? And we can now see that the plug is in there. So we need a 16 millimeter socket to get at it. So in with the socket, locate it on the plug. A little bit of a tricky area to work in, is this? Okay, we're on so hopefully this is going to come loose and it does so we'll take it as far out as we can with the socket and then we may have to take it the rest of the way by hand so it's started to spin now so I'm going to take the socket off and leave Take the ratchet off and leave the socket there and I'm going to unscrew it the rest of the way by hand. Not the easiest places to get to this. What you really want to avoid when you put the plug back in, once you've got it out and you put a new one and you really want to avoid cross threading it so you, you need to put the plug back in by hand initially and screw it in as far as you can get it by hand. If you feel any tightness or anything, you want to stop and withdraw it and see why. So, 
thought we had it out there, but we haven't. I think it's free through the cylinder head. And I'm hoping it'll come out with the socket. And the answer is, yes it does, and there we go. Nice spark plug. The colour of it's not too bad, it seems to be burning not so bad. It's quite a, a nice colour is that. Let's see, I've never had this out, so let's see what it is. It is an NGK. And it says it's a C7 HSA, so hopefully we've got the right one. We've got a CR7 HSA as a replacement and it looks identical, it seems identical, so we will give it a shot. So check the gap and the gap looks right. So let's put it back in, into the socket, put it in gently by hand first, be careful not to catch the tip, the electrode, which would alter the gap if you were to bang the electro tip against the cylinder head. Seems to be going in okay. So by hand is probably the best way to do it initially. I can feel some res resistance now. Yeah, there's some resistance building now, so we know we've got it in. It doesn't feel like it's cross-threaded. It's a nightmare if it is, but it feels fine. I'm probably more or less as far in as I can get it now by hand. I'm just going to try a little bit more. Right, let's see if I can finish it off now with the ratchet. First of all, you've got to get the ratchet head on the, the socket. Right. Seems to be taking a little bit longer to get in than I was expecting. It's definitely in there. It must screw in quite a long way, this uh, plug. I'm pretty sure that's as far as I can get it by hand. Just a bit of trial and error here, really. Yeah, we're there now. Just tighten it up, not over tight. If you tighten it too much, you may strip the thread. There's also a chance if you tighten it too much that you'll make the spark plug electrode protrude too much into the cylinder and make it bang on top of the piston. So if we're in, don't forget to put the plug lead top back on. Not much room around here to do this. Okay, we're in. We're in, we're done, we're on. One spark plug change all we've got to do now is put the covers back on and we're done so we're uh, back up and running now she's running a treat um that wasn't too bad a job to do it was you know a little bit tricky just getting the plug back into the cylinder head making sure i didn't cross the threads or anything and um well basically it was reasonably easy 
So what am I going to do next? Well, probably next time I'll change the air filter. I know they're only simple little jobs these, but they're part of a basic maintenance routine which will keep your scooter on the road, keep it safe, keep it legal and keep you happy. And hopefully give you some good fuel economy too and some good emissions, which in this day and age with global warming and um, uh, the uh, you know global warming and the environment, we really need to keep our eye on things like this keep your scooter and your car running in the best possible shape as you can. So see you next time. Thank you.